So hello everyone today I'm going to show you how you can export the blender here simulation or any kind of simulation from blender to unreal engine 5 so it's a very easy process you can follow uh, so the main thing is that what you have to do so if you didn't watch my previous tutorial uh, of the hair simulation that how you can create this type of cool looking hair simulation in blender then you can watch I will just provide you the link in the description or you can just click on the top of the uh, that corner you can you know uh, so how you can export this hair simulation to Unreal Engine 5 okay so what you need to do I'm you have to just select your hair mesh um and then you have to just click on export then you can see there is an alembic file you have to click on that and then there is some few options you need to make sure that you make this thing scale to 100 then you have to uh, uh, set the frame start and the end frames so you can do it as your requirement then you have to click on select object and visible object make sure that you select your render one then you can leave this thing like that you can enable this thing apply subdivision and then in particle system you can export particles and you can take this thing up or you can just untick this i will recommend you to just leave like that it will be better so after this you have to just follow you have to just save the thing and then wherever you want to save your uh, alembic file then you can just press export alembic and before exporting i will recommend you to make sure that you have if you are exporting like 300 400 frames of hair simulation then i will recommend you to having a pretty damn uh, large amount of disk space this means hard drive or ssd space in your system because it's gonna take a lot of space so mine is taking like 130 gb of space i don't know why this is taking so much of space but that's it but it just work perfectly fine the simulation of here will perfectly fine and it will be run perfectly smooth in unreal engine 5 also uh, so i will recommend you to make sure that you have enough space for your that alembic file to store or or it will just crash at the mid if uh, your hard drive is full so make sure that then you have to just click on export and then this done i will just close this thing so now i open unreal engine 5 and what you need to do is it's very simple you have to just create a folder for your alembic files i'm exporting my files in this folder here so uh, so i already exported this to the blender one is groom and other one is groom cache and make sure that you go to your plugin and you enable um groom alembic to groom importer and groom this two plugin should be on or else it will not export the alembic files properly so make sure that you turn this thing on and then you have to do you have to import or uh, not import yes you have to import your alembic files to your unreal engine 5 project so you have to go to your location i um, there is my alembic file of so you can see it is like if i go to properties it is like 87 gb of size so that's why i'm saying that you should have uh, enough space in your hard drive and then what you need to do is very simple you have to just drag drop this thing I will show you what setting you have to do so I'll just um, drag drop this thing to the folder so you will get something like this and then you will get something like this okay so if you are not getting something like this then make sure that you export the blender uh, uh, blender alembic to make sure that your blender export is proper or else it will not show this type of interface so make sure that you go back to the uh, video and then see again what I showed so and then what you have to do it's very, it's very simple you just leave uh, everything like that the most important thing is that there is an called import type okay so there are two type of import one is stands and one it's one is guides okay so i tried with both of them but default it is all okay and when i try to import this thing so it doesn't import it the my unreal engine was crashing while importing the uh, alembic files so it doesn't work for me so then i tried stands and it also doesn't work for me i'll and then after that i'll just use guides and then it's work okay so it's totally dependent on your hardware your pc i don't know what will work for you just try hit and trial these things it will be a little bit hectic 
if you are unlucky or if you are lucky then it will be just fine you can export it very properly there is no error nothing no crash nothing okay so it totally depends on your luck so my luck is not that much great so that's why i'm getting lots of error lots of crashing in my unreal engine so but i finally know i finally exported this thing in my imported not exported imported this thing in the unreal engine so i use guides and i leave this setting like this and i use skip frames okay i just take this on and then everything is default then i press imp uh, import okay so after this there is a main step okay if your unreal engine is crashing after loading suppose i import this thing and everything import is done okay everything is done then what will unreal engine do is he try to save that thing okay so i think probably if you turn on your auto saving then at the corner in this corner you will say you will uh, it will show something like auto saving something like that so what you need to do is you have to turn that uh, you have to cancel that auto saving okay so if you just uh, save that thing it will crash your unreal engine so do not save it okay just cancel that thing at the corner uh, of the auto uh, the box of auto saving just cancel it and then what you have to do you have to cancel it from there okay just press cross and then you will see something like this save then press save and then exit your unreal engine okay so this way you will uh, it will not crash from my experience okay it will not crash and when when you open that unreal engine 5 again your same project everything whatever where you saved it and it will be perfectly there on uh, there i will show you just give me a second So if you import your files correctly and the Unreal Engine doesn't crash, then you can see these two files, okay? One is Jum Groom Cache and one is Groom, okay? So the Groom one is your hair and the Groom Cache is your like your simulation stuff, okay? So that's the thing, that's the most important part of this tutorial. Make sure you uh, just do that thing okay if your unreal engine is crashing okay and if it's not then you can just do the uh, normal save all stuff from there also it will work perfectly fine okay so after this how you can use this thing in your meta human okay so if you watch the previous tutorial of my blender then you know that how it's work so if i go to just let me give a second if i go to uh, if i open my map just give me a second so here i have my meta human there is my meta human so you see that he is bald because i when i go i i export this model as a bald person so if you want to know about more about how to use meta humans in that so just leave uh, just write a comment that you want to you want uh, another tutorial or uh, the uh, any other stuff then i will make this make the tutorial so for now uh, what you need to do is you have to create a level sequencer okay i'm not gonna go deep how to create level sequencer that stuff okay so when you create the level sequencer what you have to do so you can see that there is my bp copper okay body face okay leave that t-shirt off uh, it's a part of the my um, short film type so just leave that thing but just focus on this thing okay bp copper okay so this is my meta human you can see there so there is an option called edit bp copper okay you have to click on that so in this one you will see oh, oh what the i'll just make this thing uh what just happened i think i need to make hard ah, this like this you will see the blueprint of the meta human so in the face section you have like so many options so you have hair option okay so in this one you can see my groom asset is blank my binding asset is blank my groom cache is also blank okay so what you need to do is you have to open your content browser go to your file where you export your grooms okay so in the groom asset you have to select this groom you have to just press this icon and it will be attached to the groom so when it when it's attached it will show something like this then you have to go to your groom cache and then you have to go down and select the groom cache and compile that thing with this one okay so when everything is done you can see there is a compile button you have to click on this one it will show something tick green things green ticks some something like that 
so it save everything so you just need to click and now you can see my hair is perfectly matched and aligned with the character you can see like this okay so now you can see that it is not simulating okay it is just stuff like that okay so if you want to simulate this thing then you have to go to your bp copper and then you have to click on track then in track you, you can see that there is an option of here you have to click on that then a uh, hair option will come you need to press on track and then there is an option called groom cache you have to click on groom cache and you can see my groom cache is just there and if you move this thing your hair will be properly simulating uh, like in your blender or uh, how it is looking in your blender it will perfectly matching with the blender scene viewport so you can see my pc is lagging too much now because i'm recording also and everything is going on at the same time that's why it is lagging so just leave that thing out so you can see this is how you can create a perfectly uh perfect looking here simulation in from blender to unreal engine 5 so that's it thank you for watching